Good evening, fellow Toastmaster and guests. I am Toastmaster Sangeeta, the Sergeant at Arms for today's meeting. And I welcome each and everyone to the 35th meeting of Win Toastmasters Club. Before we move ahead, I would like to introduce three basic norms for today's session. And I would request each and everyone to kindly follow. Number one, switch off your mic and turn on your cameras and speak only when asked to. Number two, refrain yourself from our refrain yourself from speaking about sex, religion, and politics in a derogatory manner. Number third, avoid the usage of abbreviation. For example, instead of referring someone as PMOD, use Toastmaster of the Day. Since we all are connected through virtual podium, there might be a possibility of technical glitch or you might get disconnected. So don't get panicked, you will be reconnected within seconds. All our Win Toastmasters Club meetings have been recorded and been uploaded to YouTube. In case you missed it, you can have access to all our videos. Now, before I leave this podium, I would, I would like to introduce the soul of our club. She works as a developer at PCS Research Lab. She is fond of books and badminton. She is currently the chartered president of Win Toastmaster Club and president of PCS Mathu Kolkata Toastmaster Club. Wow, she excels everywhere, professionally as well as personally. She is loved by all and inspires everyone. So ladies and ladies, give a big round of applause for our president, Toastmaster Ruchira. Hey, Ruchi! Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sergeant Adams, Toastmaster Sangeeta and Toastmaster jo uh, Jayati today uh, for that wonderful welcome. It's always such a pleasure to see all the smiling faces at Win Toastmasters Club. So a quick reminder to all the ladies who haven't switched on their videos yet to switch them on. We're looking to see your beautiful smiles. Now, Today, I can see that we have a few guests with us, so I'll quickly take their introduction. First would be, I can see we have with us Toastmaster Pranitha, a guest or Toastmaster uh, Pranitha. Could you clarify and let us know about your expectations for today and how you came to know? I have joined recently, so I've attended one session before. Right. I had... I, come, I came to know about uh, the Toastmasters through my friend. We had attended a session as a guest probably two, three months back. And then I took some time to actually finally join the club. Uh, so yeah, I have attended one session. So, but it was completely uh, based on the table topics. So okay, okay. today I will go through the proper session. <laughs> right, right. I can understand. I think that would have been one of our table topic contests. So that's why the pattern and everything seems a little unfamiliar. But I hope you have a wonderful session and welcome on board as our newest, as a new Toastmaster. So let's all give a round of applause to Toastmaster Pranita. Thank you. You can also see we have with us a guest, uh, Suja Rajesh. If you'd like to clarify if you're also a Toastmaster or a guest and uh, what are your expectations from Win Toastmasters Club today evening? You're on mute. Hi, uh, my name is Suja Rajesh. I think some of you know my sister, Seema Ramesh. She oh, yes, is the one we do. Of, yeah, so uh, she invited me today as a guest to watch the meet. So I'm looking forward to it. Seeing okay, all that's of you lovely. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I look forward and thank you so much for joining our club. Toastmasters Seema is a favorite with everyone we know at Toastmasters. Okay. We're really happy to have you here with us today. Thank you so much. I look forward to it. Thank you. Absolutely. So now uh, coming to the part where I discuss a story for today. Before that, if you would have come in a little early today, you would have noticed that uncharacteristically, I had my video off right until the Sergeant Adam started speaking. And the reason is I was desperately and really quickly trying to apply lipstick before the session. Now, wait, ladies, it's not because I only wanted to look nice for the screen today, but it's also something that ties in with my message for today. Because the lipstick that I use is from a very particular store that, I, that I'd like to talk about. So the lady that I want to talk about today is someone who decided to quit her job at 50 mm. and have a baby. Not the kind of baby that you're thinking, but she decided to give birth to her entrepreneurship Nika. dream, mm. Nika, which is exactly where my lipstick is from as well. Now, we've all been seeing a lot about her in the news and the way that she had the courage to leave 
her past job and the way that she's been able to, you know, um, break through and she's been celebrated as one of the self-made billionaires at the age of 50, one of the few women to do so all over the world. Now, when I was reading a lot about her, because I loved the story behind her, um, her inspiring story rather, I love the ways that she says that she does love makeup herself, but she doesn't have time to put it on anymore. And I think that a lot of us ladies would totally relate to that fact. But bridging the gap and changing the way that women shop, she has successfully curated so many brands and made Nika a home, a household name all over the country. She is someone that I would look up to as not just a person who's had the courage to go after her dreams, but she's also been able to defy the societal laws, norms of age and the kind of comments that ladies at that age usually get when they're going to start something new. So at Windows Masters Club, where we have women across different ages, stages in their personal and professional careers, their houses, their lives, their relationships, I think that we can all take away something from her story. And, you know, remember that the key is not always to end up big, but the key is just to start so that we can move towards reaching our end goal, no matter what it is and no matter what age we are. And at Windows Masters, I believe that a lot of the ladies, you've already started this journey of self-discovery by taking the start to join those masters. Now, as president, I do have one small request is to take the next step and start giving your speeches so that you can reap the benefits of being a Toastmaster and getting to be a better public speaker. Now, there is one such lady in our club who is going to be taking up the role of an anchor for the session today, and it's a great pleasure for me to introduce her. One of the charter members of Windows Masters Club, she's someone that you'll always see with a big smile and has this never give up attitude with a, with a way that she participates in every aspect whenever she can. Please join me in welcoming the wonderful Toastmaster of the day today, Toastmaster Amrita. Over to you, Madam Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, President Ruchira. Your words have always been so motivating and so captivating. And that's the theme today. We all want to challenge these miles that we have in our heads, in our minds. We all want to take up that dream, that adventure that we've always wanted to. And that's where we begin one step at a time. I here want to quote Albert Einstein, lovely quotations that he's given us on life. One of them, one of my favorites. Never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is the more powerful one than the one who has all the facts. So yes, if you have a dream, if you want to do something, if you want to do something today, you are big, you are powerful. And that power of dreaming, that power of making it possible in our minds and our hearts is what makes us special. Keep in sight great determination and avoiding procrastination is all that we want to do to pursue that dream and take that first step and then the next will follow, of course. The longest and the most difficult ventures have a starting point. And we will definitely talk about a lot of them. I thank our president, Ruchira, who's brought Naika into the picture. And I have a similar story to quote. Yes, most difficult ventures, longest journeys have a starting point and something that begins just with one step. And so let me take one more step into this meeting today and welcome our general evaluator, Toastmaster Movita Sarkar. Toastmaster Momita is known to all of us, a very familiar, friendly face. Software developer at IBM, Toastmaster since 2018, charter member of One Cognizant Toastmasters Club, and a multitasking expert that she is, playing PR of three clubs simultaneously has given her a red halo already. And we see her on the screen. Let's join our hands. Thank you, Toastmaster Amrita, for the lovely introduction. 
so you do see my red hairs right <laughs> okay uh, so i was uh, sitting here and thinking about what is the role of general evaluator and how would i introduce myself simultaneously evaluating like judging our sa then president then tmod so it came to my mind that general evaluator has to be the most obsessed uh, self obsessed role in toastmasters like we sit here and then judge everyone and think how how would they have done the role of a president better than the president and then at the end of the day at end of the meeting we come and tell them how would i have how i would have done it better than her and to help me in my narcissistic role of general evaluator i have a tag or rather tell uh, role players <laughs> because we have timer then accountant and grammarian and listening master and i will like them to come on podium and explain their role a bit uh, so let's start with our timer of the day uh, toastmaster priya could you please explain your uh, role a bit yes yes good evening fellow toastmasters and dear guest as you know time is the key factor of all success all success i believe in that and i always encourage others to uh, uh, maintain time everywhere it helps everyone to a great extent in toastmasters uh, punctuality is the punctuality uh, is is the essence of the meetings so here i am playing the role of a timer to keep track on the time taken by all the speakers during prepared speeches uh, evaluation and uh, top, table topics i have three cards green yellow and red i will i will uh, flash the green uh, card at the minimum time yellow card at the mean time and the red card at the maximum time for uh, for uh, prepare this pages there is a time limit of 5 uh, to 7 minutes i will flash the green card at 5 minutes yellow card at 6 minute and uh, red card at 7 minutes for evaluations i will flash the there is a time period of 2 uh, to 3 minutes i will flash the green card at, card at 2 minutes uh, uh, yellow card at 2 minute 30 second and uh, red card at 3 minutes for uh, prepared speeches and uh, evaluation there is a grace period of 30 seconds for both the upper and lower limits for uh, table topics there is time limit of 1 to 2 minutes i will flash the green card at 1 uh, minute uh, yellow card at 1 minute 30 second and uh, red card uh, at 2 uh, uh, minutes with uh, uh, only a grace period of uh, uh, 30 seconds at the upper limit i will present my report when called upon by the general evaluator thank you over to uh, the general evaluator Thank you, Toastmaster Priya, for explaining your role so lovely, and also showing us the card. Uh, next, we have the accountant and grammarian, Toastmaster Kalpita. Thank you, Jan. Evaluator, Toastmasters today probably as the accounter words rather, which are used as a cry. Basically, you know, it's etc. All also I know the words like um or uh, ah uh, whatever is been used by the speaker in their speeches. I'll keep a track of all such words and I'll present my report at the end of the session when the general evaluator asks me to do so. and as a grammarian i have to keep a track of the good usages and not so good usages of the words that that are being used by any speakers today i'll also introduce the word of the day 
And the word of the day is euphoric. It means a feeling of intense excitement and happiness. We can use it in sentences like, as soon as the music started in the birthday party, the guests became euphoric. Or we can use it like, as we met our old friends, we all became euphoric and emotional with excitement. So I'll uh, also share the word in the chat box so that everybody can use the words as many as as many times as they want. And definitely will encourage each and everyone uh, with a thumbs up, whoever uses the words. I'll, uh, so I'll produce my report at the end of the session uh, with the consent of the general evaluator. Thank you and over to you, general evaluator. Thank you Toastmaster Kalpita for explaining your role. And I believe uh, you have the maximum work to take. So thanks for taking up both the roles. Uh, next, we have the listening master, who is Toastmaster Nasima. Toastmaster Nasima, can you explain your role a bit? Evaluated Toastmaster Momita. Good evening, Toastmaster of today, fellow Toastmasters, and honorable guests. Being a listener, being a good listener, is as important as being a good speaker. As a listening master. I'll be, I will be note interesting tidbits of information from any of the speakers and ask questions at the end of the session to see whether everyone was paying attention to the session. I'll ask question at the end of the session. Thank you and over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Nishima. Uh, so this is the description for my tell TAL role players and on a serious note I will also be taking down notes of all the uh, nice things we did as a team in today's meeting and present my report at the end of the meeting when called upon by our Toastmaster of the day Toastmaster Amrita. Over to you Toastmaster Amrita. Thank you so much Madam General Evaluator. Now with this we move forward into the day and one step at a time, big challenges, long journeys, bigger dreams was what somebody very special took. So I want to share one, something very nice with you all. Give me one minute. I hope you can all see this. Anyone here who finds the face familiar? Nobody, I'm assuming. And this is what the big journey, big dream is all about. The lady here is from Kenya. Her name is Vangari Matai. The lady was just touched by how women were facing difficulties in Africa, in states around, and especially for food, for wood, for fuel, for building material, everything. Women had to walk miles and miles and miles. And that's what made her think. And when she started thinking about it, she faced a lot of hardship, a lot of challenges. The seeds that she's sowing here were sown for years. The trees that she's loving here in one of these pictures brought her a noble prize. People, this lady never imagined a very average, normal lady from the states of Kenya. She wasn't ever dreaming for a prize, for a reward, for anything that would come her way. What came 
as a surprise was a call from the Nobel Prize Committee and there she was standing in one of the auditoriums receiving that award and the moment was full of happiness. She was so overjoyed, could not speak. Her eyes were full of tears. And all that she could recall was all those ladies who made her think and take that first step. And then the other steps followed. A lot of other support came in after the hardships. And there she was. Once you are a Nobel Prize winner, yes, the world begins to recognize you. Yes, they do support you. And then the dream that you pursued once, it was your dream, becomes the dream and the mission for a lot of men. And that's what she did. So one of the stories that would probably make us think further before we get into more speeches, the second section, the first section of our Toastmaster meeting, the prepared speeches, I request our first evaluator, DTM Ruchira, to please lay down the expectations for our speaker one. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Madam Toastmaster of the day. So today our speaker will be delivering her research and presentation speech from level one pathways. And the purpose of the project is for the member to learn or to review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. Timer, please note that the speech duration is five to seven minutes. All the best to the speaker and back to you, Madam Toastmaster of the day. Excellent. And with that, I welcome our speaker, the first speaker for today, Toastmaster Anisha Banerjee. Now, again, Anisha is not new to our club. We've had her with us for so many meetings, and it's again such a wonderful experience, and we all look forward to this speech of yours. Okay, should I start? Uh, can you please state her speech title, Toastmaster Amrita? I've sent it to you in the chat on Zoom. All right, so let me introduce, I am privileged to, to probably declare the speech title. This first speech for today is Explore Egypt. I'm getting mesmerized, mysterious topic. Before I start, I'd just like to share the screen. Uh, can you all please confirm that you can share uh, the, um, can you can, that you can see the slideshow? Yes, we can. I'll just request the timer to then uh, post on the group chat only when it's green, yellow and red, because uh, our speaker herself is already sharing screen. Is that all right? Toastmaster Priya, can you please confirm? Hello? So yes. Can I start now? You can Order start now you? and please uh, write down green, yellow, red in the chat as our speaker herself is already sharing the screen. Oh my God, so how do I do? Uh, you can uh, just type. Uh, I have. Okay, okay. But I, I will not flash the screen. Correct, correct. Okay. All right. So, okay. so should I start now? Yes, please go ahead. Hello. Yes, Toastmaster Priya, please start the timing. Okay. Egypt. What are some of the words and adjectives that come to your mind when I say Egypt? Please write them down on the chat. Take a few seconds. Words, adjectives, anything that comes to your mind when I say Egypt. Pyramids, hot. <laughs> okay, yes. Pharaohs. Mummies. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, as someone who has visited Egypt, I can tell you from experience that Egypt is all about the hot weather, the grand pyramids, innumerable mummies, and so much more. Over the course of the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you a little about the most important places to visit when in Egypt and what to expect there. 
Your first stop is going to be the capital city of Cairo on the banks of the great river Nile. Now, Egyptians associate, associated death with the West and buried their pharaohs on the Nile's west bank. They preferred to stay on the east bank of the Nile at night because they believed that the spirits of the dead lived on the west bank. So most of the city of Cairo is on the east bank. The main attraction there, however, is definitely the west bank where you will be mesmerized by the grandeur of the Giza pyramid complex. You can buy tickets and enter the Great Pyramid of Khufu, which is the one right here. Um, you can do that, but we chose to stay on the outside and just look around. There are a couple of tours that you can take there as well. You can go for a full day tour of Memphis, Saqqara, Giza, and the Great Sphinx. You can opt for a half day tour at Giza and of the Great Sphinx. You can also go for a camel or horseback ride preferably at sunset. There is also a very popular light and sound show where the Great Sphinx narrates the history, the pharaonic history, unraveling the ancient and the mysterious tales of Egypt. The show is narrated in multiple languages, so one needs to book the right one. Here are a couple of links which could help you when you book your tickets. The ne next attraction in Cairo is the Egyptian Museum near the very famous Tahrir Square, also known as Martyr Square. This square has been the location and focus for political demonstrations in Cairo, most notably the ones that led to the 2011 Egyptian revolution and the resignation of President Hosni Mubarak. The Egyptian Museum of Antiquities contains many important pieces of ancient Egyptian history, it houses the world's largest collection of pharaonic antiquities. Here's a picture of the Great Hall where you can see a lot of tombs and statues all over. And there is so much more in that two-story building. It's a wonder in itself. And here is a link to the museum. You might find it interesting. Now, one of the most exciting parts about a trip to Egypt would definitely be the Nile River cruise. One must go for this luxurious experience, but do not try to take a swim there because there are many crocodiles in that river. For us, the cruise started at Luxor. The two main attractions at Luxor are the Karnak and the Luxor temples, which are connected by a Sphinx Avenue. They have been restored recently, and the hieroglyphic writings on the walls and the hypostyles are a marvel to look at. The next attraction on the west bank of the Nile is, is the Valley of Kings, where many pharaohs in the New Kingdom were buried. Many tombs are still yet to be discovered as well. Child King Tutankhamun was buried here, and that discovery was a very special one because that was one of the tombs that the tomb raiders could not find. So they couldn't loot it. And many of the very expensive and important artifacts of history were found in that tomb. On your way back, you can visit the mortuary temple of Queen Hatshepsut, the only queen of Egypt. There are a couple of stops as well. You can visit the temple of Edfu further down the Nile and you can also cross the Esna lock. The next stop and the last stop for most of the cruises there is Aswan, which is where you're also recommended to do most of your shopping. Along the river banks is the temple of Kom Ombo, where you will find some of the 300 mummified crocodiles in a museum nearby. One of the most exciting spots in Aswan is Abu Simbel, which is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This has been relocated to Lake Nasser on the picture from its original location near Nubia, where it faced a threat of flooding by the River Nile. Needless to say, relocating these rock cut temples were a very expensive procedure, but don't you think the view is absolutely grand of Lake Nasser and Abu Simbel? Two other very nice spots to visit in Aswan is definitely, are definitely the Aswan Dam and the Temple of Philae, which you would need to go to by boat, preferably at sunset. This has also been relocated from its original spot, just like Abu Sembel, 
And the reason why I said sunset is because when you travel back to the mainland on the boat, the play of lights between the pillars of Temple of Philae look very, very beautiful. When in Egypt, you must also visit the beautiful city of Alexandria. You will experience the true Mediterranean blues by the sea there. It would give you shivers to see the modern day library of Alexandria, which has been built in place of the old one. When you think about how the ancient library was looted and eventually destroyed, so much knowledge wasted you should spend a moment there and think about the entire scene that took place there. A couple of other spots to visit in Alexandria are the catacombs of the Roman Empire and the citadel of Cape Bay, which was built in place of the very famous lighthouse of Alexandria. When in Egypt, you, you must let your imagination do most of the traveling, traveling through space and time. You have to imagine the great halls filled with people in their special ornaments and their clothing. You must open your eyes to see colors beyond the yellow sand dunes. You have to imagine the vast deserts that have now been taken up by cities and modern civilization. Only then would you truly experience Egypt, the ancient, the grand, the land of many mysteries. Book your Egypt tour quickly. Thank you. Madam Toastmaster of the day. Yes. That I'm sorry, I lost you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for exploring Egypt for us. Yes, we've definitely heard a lot of stories, read so much. And being in Kolkata, we've also visited a few of the things. To scare you all, even the mummies at the National, uh, the National Museum, of course. With that, we have one more wonderful speech lined up by a very versatile, daring, determined, and dear Toastmaster Shruti. And before that, I call upon the evaluator, the second evaluator who would be evaluating her speech. Very talented, articulate, and amiable Toastmaster Jaiti Dutta. Jaiti, thank you so much for laying these rules for us so that we know what's exactly coming our way. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Am I audible and visible? The speaker is giving her level two project three speech from the pathway engaging humor. The purpose of this project is for the member to clearly define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring. The purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege. Good luck. All the best. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Jayati. And that was wonderful. After this adventurous, mysterious ride into Egypt, we look forward to rolling ourselves and holding our bellies. I invite the second speaker, Toastmaster Shruti, to take us on this ride. The speech title would be Master of Disguise. Hello, Shruti. When is the next speech? Hi, Arnav. My next speech is in, say, two weeks. But why are you not delivering your speeches? What have you been up to? Arnav, I have moved to a new city and I'm trying to figure out life. Oh, okay. Take your time, but do deliver your speeches because you promised that you're going to deliver your speech and finish your pathway in the next six months. This is the kind of conversation that I have been having with my mentor, distinguished Toastmaster Arnab Nag. How many of you remember this kind of a conversation having with your mentor? Anyone? Kalpita, Amrita, Ruchira, Sangeeta? All the Tars? All right. Wonderful. 
So yes, this is pretty much the same templated syntax story of all the mentors and protégés relationships. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and my dear guests, and welcome to this wonderful meeting of Win Toastmasters Club, where we always talk about this beautiful bond of mentors and mentees. But no one tells you the real truth. No one tells you how many different kinds of mentors are available in this market of Toastmasters. So let me take you on a real joy, but strict ride, because we have all sorts of mentors available. I'm sure a few of you are already running with your episodes with your own mentors. So the kind of mentors that I have been through and the kind of mentors we have been through, we'll sail through it together. The number one kind of mentor, Professor Viru Sahestra Buddhi. These kinds of mentors are always on a fly. I do not know what do they feed themselves on, what do they smoke up, and what are they doing in their lives? How come they're delivering so many speeches and they expect their mentees to deliver as many number of speeches? These are the kind of mentors who will be like, it's okay, you just take this lot. I'm sure you're going to deliver it. These are the kind of mentors who make you sit on a sun flame Bunsen burner and then rest for us. The number two kind of mentors, the perfectionists. These are the ones who will always take a toll on your lives. And mind you, this is not to offend any one of you because we all know that you all do that as mentors, don't you? Just nod some heads, please. Yes, at least I do that with my mentees. And I have had the same kind of treatment with my mentors that until and unless you do not perfect your speech, you are not going on stage. You're not going on stage until and unless, and if it is an ISC speech where you're supposed to compete with several other mentors and mentees, you are supposed to be perfect. And that's how they nudge you and they make you the wonderful speaker that you all become. The number three kind. Hood hood the bung the bung the bung the bung hood hood the bung the bung because these are the Salman Khans of movies because they always want you to be on the top notch and to do some stunt in your speeches. Yes, I remember fondly when I told my mentor that I'm going to deliver a speech on introduction to Toastmaster mentoring and I'm going to recite an incident. Mind you, not narrate, but recite an incident. And he was all gaga over it. And he said, yes, yes, you add all over spices and garnish it with coriander leaves if you want to, but I want you to be the best and do some stunt there. These are the kind of mentors who make sure that you do all that drama on your screen. Number four kind of mentor. The ones who are the backbenchers, who may not talk with you much. But when they do, they motivate you to the next level. And these are the ones who take you to a level ahead in your Toastmasters journey. Now, let me ask you a question. What is the funniest thing that you think about your mentor? Whenever you think about or your mentor, one thing that strikes you and gives you a bright smile, the funny bright smile on your face. I'll begin with mine. My mentor is always like, Yes, go, 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 go. If you want to do something, just do it. Don't wait for me to give you a green signal or anything else. Anyone else, would you like to share that? No one? All right. And also, can I uh, see the timers card, please? Thank you. With this, I would also like to share a small story about how mentor and mentee relationship can be beautiful as well as funny. So there was this mentor of mine, whose name is Toastmaster Anish. He was the person who introduced me to Toastmasters and the one who guided me in this the world of Toastmasters as my first mentor. He used to always say, if you're on stage, just focus and think that there is no one else watching you. Although there are people, but just think that no one else is watching you. 
And since that moment, I have been following that one advice that has helped me to deal with all kinds of speeches and to work through with all kinds of mentors. And be it any kind of mentor, but all these mentors, they help us to sail through different levels of Toastmasters, be it in communication or leadership or putting you at the spot and giving you impromptu roles. And how many of you can relate to this part of mine when I say impromptu roles? Any nods, any heads? Amazing. I'm sure Amrita and Kalpita can. So with this, I would like to leave you with one thought in your minds. That your mentors are the ones who are going to shape your personalities, who are going to shape your personality and your persona as a speaker in the world of Toastmasters. But they're also the one who are going to be your best go-to spot when you are stuck in this journey of Toastmasters. So be in constant touch with them and learn from them as much as you can. And with this, I'm going to go and call my mentor and tell him how my speech went. And now I'm leaving the stage on to you, Toastmaster Amrita. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Shruti. And that was wonderful. Yes, various types of mentors. I've been lucky I had two. And my current mentor is definitely mentoring me well. Thank you so much. We look forward to all these wonderful ambitions that we have and hope all of this is one step towards that challenging mind. Another very, uh, very close to heart story. You would all love it. I can't restrain. I was trying to give it away, slowly wipe it off because uh, Toastmaster, uh, distinguished Toastmaster Ruchira has already mentioned Naika, but it's so close to my heart that I choose to still mention it. Meena Bindra, 39 year old housewife, two children. Very able, very skilled and talented housewife, managing her house very well. Something somewhere, a spark. To do something, because when you're 39, the kids are about to be on their own, and then you have a little time in hand and you want to do something. Fly a bit higher, explore a little more. And with all the talent that was with her, the skill that she possessed, she started stitching and designing. A few clothes for friends and neighbors, people started appreciating. They loved it. And then they repeated their requests and demands. And slowly and steadily, what she began to discover was there were more people who wanted things designed by her. What she saved was around a hundred rupees from her household expenditure. And she used that to buy cut pieces from the local shops. Those cut pieces were then designed, cut into join to form fabulous designs, which were sold. The money which came was again recycled into business. And this went on and on and on. The husband didn't know about it for a while. He was out to work. Meena Bindra was at her work, taking on the challenge of those miles, step by step. Slowly and steadily, she became a demand somebody who was really, really wanted. And that would not be hidden. The husband got to know. The brand started to take its form. 8,000 rupees was taken as a loan from a bank. And today's Biba was formed by Meena Bindra. The Biba brand which sells to a 
over 255 stores across the globe the shopper stop and the west side all have a counter for biba would you ever imagine it started with around a hundred rupees startup that was the capital something that was hidden inside a housemaker 71 years old i believe she is today and she challenges all of us everybody to dream dream big and if you think you can just do it with this lovely story i have one more little one around what wangari did the forest man of india so i won't elaborate too much on that the forest man of india we are focusing resales back into our state of bengal and the areas around i don't know if you've anybody heard of the molai forest no okay that's one area where there were a lot of snakes found and this gentleman mr jadav thought if there are snakes here and there's nothing else growing around bamboos is what goes with snakes so let's plant bamboos 20 bamboo trees planted slowly and steadily over the years the challenging mile made it the molai forest today and he is the padam shri winner today one of the fourth highest awards in india padam shri so nobel prize the Viva brand and Padmashri, so many prizes, returns, all coming with those one steps that people have been taking. Amazing stories. So let us make our own and let's win something at the table topic session. The impromptu speech session at the Toastmasters meeting, the most sought after. I request the Toastmaster, Sangeeta Moran, who would be taking us through this wonderful journey of table topics. Everybody is waiting, I know. So let's join our hands for Sangeeta today. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Amrita. I am Sang Toastmaster Sangeeta, who is assigned with one of the most euphoric portions of Toastmasters meeting. Yes, that is table topic session. The main objective of table topic is to challenge the members to develop their impromptu communication skills. It is specifically designed to develop four essential, essential communication skills. That is listening, thinking, organizing, and then speaking. So before we get started, I would like to put forward the basic norms of today's table topic session. Number one, each player will be given two options and they have to choose one and speak about it. It can be any incident or their opinion, anything. Second, each speaker have to speak for one to two minutes and they will have grace period of 30 seconds. Any speaker who will speak below one minute or more than two minutes, 30 seconds will be disqualified. The word for the day is euphoric so i would request each and everyone to kindly follow as many times as possible the guest participants will have the option to change their topic once but the members will not have such options i would also like to give an example for example if i say saturdays or sunday the speaker has to choose one and speak about it so ladies and gentlemen Let's get started and keeping up with the spirit, nominate yourself and write your name from the chat box. Uh, please nominate yourself. Uh, Toastmaster Sangeeta, we have a nomination from Toastmaster Shahita and then Toastmaster Anisha. Oh. So, Toastmaster Shahida, here is your topic. Uh, am I audible? Yes, it's countryside or beach. Toastmaster Shahida, countryside or beach. Okay, it was just 
three months after my marriage that I decided, or rather we decided to go for a honeymoon. And that marriage ha happened after 12 years of courtship. So it was a big, big thing. The bride ran away from family and had a grand marriage, you know, in-laws, but then they were too exhausted mentally, physically, emotionally to go for a honeymoon. And of course, also exhausted financially. And they decided to go for the honeymoon after three months. And where could it be if the bride and the groom stayed in Mumbai? Of course, it was, it was the heaven the, of beaches, Goa. It's always beaches for me because you have the best of everything. Yeah, I am a bit of a spoiled sport here because I am a complete teetotaler. But when you go to a place like Goa, ding, ding, everything goes for a toss and you have the best of beers. You have the best of prawns. And that cannot, cannot come in any comparison to the hills. It is always, always beaches for me. You have the lovely sights, you have the lovely seashore, you have the lovely sights in terms of um, the best of people there. And you also have very interesting people to me. And whenever I have gone and gone to the beaches thereafter, I have met beautiful people who are always as sunny as the weather. The smile there is always there. They are not shivering like those people under the shawls and the sweaters in Hill Station. So people I feel in the seashores and the beaches are always happy and they're so transparent in all possible manners. So it's always beaches for me. Over to you, Table Topics Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Shahida. I think you enjoyed a lot. I would also prefer going to Goa. So next speaker is Toastmaster Preeti. Your topic is plants or pets. Toastmaster Preeti, plants or pets. Yeah, so my topic is plants or, I can't see the screen. Okay. It's plants or pets. So uh, when I was a little child, my mother always used to tell me that Preeti, you're not a very creative person. You can never do it something that requires a lot of hard work and a lot of patience. And that she meant was with gardening. Because I'm not a person who can look after a lot of trees, plants, manuring, watering. That's extremely difficult. If you ask me about pets, I'm extremely fond of pets. Now, the question is, who are my pets? Well, my pets are my two little children and my dear, dear husband. So I call them my pets because pets are someone who you can extremely adore, love and also enjoy taking care of. So you must be thinking I must be talking about some parrots or some animals. I'm absolutely a no animal person. But for me, my children are my favorite pets. It's extremely difficult for me to take care of them and nurture them because you have to keep shouting, eat your food, do your studies. Where are you? Your lunchbox is ready. And the third child, that's my husband. He is even more terrible. He is the youngest child in the house who doesn't even know where his stall is, where his banyan is and a lot of other things. He'll just be shouting, Preeti, Preeti, Preeti. But still... Over the plants, which require a little care, I would select the pets because of the love and affection that I have towards them. It's an extremely crazy job, but I would any day prefer my pets, that is my two little children, and the youngest one, that's my husband, to look after them. But one major reason for me to choose them as pets is because just like you have some pet who over cares for you, I give a lot of love to them. And I get at least 10 times more the love I give them. So I'm a more uh, a pet for them than they are to me. So I would any day, Table Topic Master, select a pet over a plant. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Preeti. 
So we have our next participant, Toastmaster Anisha. Your topic is talking or listening. Toastmaster Anisha, talking or listening. Talking or listening. It reminds me of another similar phrase, stop existing and start living from the song, Heal the World. Now, when you think about these two words, they're, they're very close to each other. They're like opposite sides of the coin, but they always go hand in hand. You can't keep on blabbering and not, uh, you can't carry on a conversation if you keep on blabbering and not listen to what the other person has to say. Because as we all know, good communication requires that feedback loop Personally, I think I'm more of a listener because when you listen to other people speaking or sharing their stories, you get to learn a lot more about the world outside. We all have a certain limited space of our homes or our workspaces or our social circles, circles which may not be as vast as, uh, 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 as uh, having 7 billion people in there. But if you listen to videos, if you listen to a story, even if it's not from your friend, if you listen to the story of a friend of a friend, or if you listen to a thousand TED Talks, you would be learning a lot more. You would be a lot more stimulated in your thoughts and ideas, or you might even get inspired to do something differently, or you might have a laugh. But if you're the one who's always the talker, you might run out of ideas someday. So I think to me, listening is more of an art form. Talking too, it is. I mean, we are all Toastmasters. We have to know how to talk and say the right words with the right pauses. But to me, my personal favorite act is to listen to different kinds of stories, any kind of stories. What do you think, Table Topics Master? Hey, thank you, Toastmaster. Anisha, listening is also my favorite act. So our next participant is Toastmaster Shruti. Toastmaster Shruti, your topic is cooking food or going to a restaurant. Toastmaster Shruti, cooking food or going to a restaurant. Who doesn't love to eat? Anyone who doesn't love to eat? Any one of you? No one? Anisha, you do not like to eat. Ruchira, you do not like to eat. I'm sure all the smiles are telling me and me myself, if I look at myself in the mirror, I would be like, I love to eat unless the person who's cooking the food is not me. Or I get to become the chef Sanjeev Kapoor or some Kunal or some, some fancy chef in the kitchen where I get all those finely chopped veggies and I just get to see a camera in front of me. And I have a wonderfully lit black granite kind of a four Bunsen burner uh, cooktop and nice juicer, mixer, grinders and everything beside me and fancy cups, ceramic fab from Fab India hanging behind me and having a nice look. And I'm cooking like some cook or the chef of a five-star hotel. All of this seems like a great dream, but it is, yes, it is a dream. It's not reality because cooking to me is an art, but going to restaurant is a greater kind of art. Why? Because you have to look nice, as nice as the dish itself that you're going to order. So yesterday I went to a restaurant called Truffles, which is a very famous uh, youngster kind of a hangout spot in Bangalore. And therein people actually wait. And there are burgers which are, you know, stuffed with double patties and double cheese layers and the sauces dripping from all around. And there I was in my loose clothes, all hosiery, comfortable ones, so that if I stuff myself, as much as the double patty in that burger, my tummy is not visible because that is the last thing that I want to be seen as. So going to a restaurant is easy, but is a finer art than sitting inside a house and cooking. 
what do you think madam table topic master i think going to a restaurant is amazing now i'm craving for burger so our next thank you toastmaster shruti our next participant is toastmaster vandana toastmaster vandana your topic is new movies or old movies toastmaster vandana new movies or old movies yes uh good evening everyone i prefer old movies as we always said old are gold so old movies uh from our childhood when i uh, though our era was a middle age era but still when we see old movies it was uh, how can i say old song and their act the actor actress they all are awesome i can say and the story behind those movies are also amazing actually uh, i can say those stories are like real stories and nowadays new movies they are like they can sh show anything Right. Uh, if we see any scene, any uh, fighting scenes, I can say that they can say uh, whatever they will show. It's like unbelievable. You cannot believe on those things. So I prefer old movies than new ones. Over to you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Vandana. Our next participant is Toastmaster Pranita. Toastmaster Pranita, your topic is outing with friends or gossiping and reminiscing old days with friends. Toastmaster Pranita, outing with friends or gossiping and reminiscing old days with friends. Ah, uh, hi. So I think this is a very interesting topic. Ah, uh, whether you want to go out with friends or whether you want to reminisce old times with friends. uh it's a hard thing to choose but i think uh, at the first attempt i would rather go out with friends than to reminisce the old times because first we need to have enough memories to cherish uh, which uh, if we have good time if we have enough time right now to enjoy with friends i would always go out uh, go to parties with them or go to uh, go traveling with them make a lot of memories meet new people uh have new experiences etc but uh, there are there are other times where you do not have time to do all of these things like for example at, during covid uh we were all stuck at our homes and we were, we could hardly go out and meet our friends that's when i actually started uh, reminiscing my old times uh the trips that i took with my friends the memories have made So I've started contacting the friends I missed. I missed being in touch with, and uh, started uh, the, uh, reminiscing all those old times. So I think both are important. But uh, as a in the as a first step, uh, it's always better to enjoy the time current time with your friends and go out as much as possible. But when you do not have enough time to do all the things. you can just sit at home and uh, reminisce uh, your old memories with that i'll give it over to you to thank you so much to guest to master pranita yes. since we are running short of time i would like to end this table top session over to you to master of the day to master amrit so thank you so much to master sangeeta for taking us through this wonderful journey a lot of us got opportunities of choosing between the different things i found some of them very difficult to choose but wonderfully spoken everybody and with that we move forward into the evening i'm sure everybody is waiting for their evaluations to get the feedback so that we take it forward from there just before we go there these lovely stories that we've been talking about taking challenges of the miles taking one step at a time a lot of prizes coming on the way 
dreaming is probably the first step there. Aspiring, want to do something is what will get you kick started. And the stories which were taken up by all of these wonderful people brought euphoric results. And so we continue to endeavor into the miles that we take forward. So let me quote Robert Frost here. How can I miss him when I'm talking about miles? Robert Frost was probably walking across and he, and he mentions, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. And may we all keep walking lovely miles, miles and miles and never sleep. Thank you. And with that, I request our general evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster. May I request Toastmaster Bobita. Thank you so much. Yeah. Even I love the Robert Frost square quote and that poem too. So thank you for reminding us uh, that lovely quote and the meaning behind it. So with this, I uh, will I will move forward to the evaluation section. And before I present my evaluation, I will ask our speech evaluator uh, to present a report. Our first speech evaluator was DTM Ruchira. Uh, DTM Ruchira, can you please uh, provide your report for us, speech one? Yes, absolutely. All right. So travel, they say, is like an endless university where you never stop learning. And today, Toastmaster Anisha, with that beautiful, inspiring speech that you had on your journey at Egypt, you showed us just that. What I loved about your speech was the presentation that you had, the way that each picture that you had was filled with very appropriate captions. And I especially loved the fact that you had a compass on the slide showing what you saw as you moved across the cruise from the west to the east, which really made us feel like we were there on the cruise with you. Now, the second thing that I loved about your speech was the articulation that you had. Whether it was the way that you had voice modulation coupled with great facial expressions in a research and presentation speech, when you had humor, where you talked about how we should take a cruise on the River Nile, but not dip our feet in it because of the crocodiles, the way that you laughed then, or the way that you whispered when you talked about Alexandria that added to the mystery and the lure of the ancient library that was ruined. The third thing that I absolutely loved about your speech was the actionable takeaway that you had in a research and presentation, which requires a lot of thought as well. The way that you explained why you shared this story about your travels and how you left links in the Zoom chat for others to actually take the initiative and finally book the session. Now, Toastmaster Anisha, your speech transported me back in time, which reminded me of a wrinkle in space and time. But to wrinkle out the or to iron out these wrinkles in your speech, I have a couple of recommendations for you. The first would be in terms of the audience interaction that you had. You asked right at the beginning, what are some words that people associate with Egypt? And you got a lot of inputs in the from the chat box. But your answer took only the word hot from there and you moved on. If you've asked a question, it's a good idea to take in all the inputs that you have and incorporate them when you're re summarizing what the answer is to the question that you asked. The second recommendation that I have is that is in the objective of research and presentation speed, there's presentation and then there's research. Now, because this was a place that you had already visited and you showed us photographs and places and your personal story about it, what I felt was the research aspect was a little lacking. If you could have maybe dug a little deeper, then reframed your experience with some learnings that you read from the internet or the books later on or while on the trip. And the third recommendation from my side is in terms of the presentation where you had, because it was your personal story and it was a research and presentation, if you could have added some of your personal photographs as well, I think that would have added a relatability factor connecting with the audience a little more.
Overall, you had a great presentation, wonderful articulation, and an actionable conclusion. If you just take care of the audience interaction, meeting the research aspect of your objective, and adding some personal photos, I'm sure you'll take the speech to the next level. Now, Toastmaster Anisha, I have one line of a song that I'd like to leave for you, which is, keep the living light inside you and let that be the compass to guide you on your future journeys. Back to you, Contest Chair. Thank you, Toastmaster Ruchira. So moving forward, I will ask the evaluator to Toastmaster Jayati to present a report for speech two by Toastmaster Shruti. Hello, am I audible and visible to everyone? Yes. Thank you. As the famous talk show host, Oprah Winfrey says, a mentor is someone who helps you to find the hope inside yourself. And that is exactly what you stated in your speech, Toastmaster Shruti. Good evening, Toastmasters, and a very special evening to my target speaker, Toastmaster Shruti. Toastmaster Shruti, the passion that you had in your voice was present from the moment you took over the podium. When you want to persuade people to listen to you, you need to bring that passion. And it was there in all kinds of ways and in all kinds of angles. And you maintained constant eye contact with your audience and kept them glued, which is very, very essential. The topic of your speech, master of disguises so apt and especially when you talked about the three kinds of mentors viru sahasra buddhi it brought a smile on my face it transported me back to the movie three idiots and i could relate the mentor with it khud khud dabang 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 even that even that portrayed me gave me back to a kind of mentor i would portray with that particular song now, Toastmaster Shruti, you and I, both of us know that there is room for improvement. And for that, I have three suggestions to you. The first one is Toastmaster Shruti, stand and speak. When you stand and speak, both your verbal and non-verbal gestures, emotions, whatever it is that you are trying to portray, comes across so beautifully. You use the stage totally. And it, all, it is also clear and soothing to the eyes. The second one is the fact that your speech was content heavy and your presence on stage was slightly overlapping with the transitions of your speech. The third one, Toastmaster Shruti, I would say that you had wonderful stories of your mentor-mentee relationship, which was, which was great and which was you were inspired by all of them i would like to take i would like you to take a moment to consider a little bit of an emotional uh, turbulence so that where you had a mental mental relationship and this was not so good it was not it was not good with you it didn't go with you didn't vibe with you you didn't you don't want to get back those memories if you could get back to that if you could relate some of that i think that would have added drama to your speech to summarize toastmaster shruti you had passion to persuade your verbal and non-verbal gestures were absolutely on spot you had beautiful storytelling techniques if you could gel in body language stage choreography and take us on that emotional roller coaster Toastmaster Shruti, you have a podium finish. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, here comes the uprising Toastmaster star. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Jyoti. So with this, I would like my TAL team players to, have, to present their report before I uh, go on with my general Evaluation. So I will ask the timer of the day, Toastmaster Priya, to please present your report. Thank you, Toastmaster Priya. Thank you, Toastmaster Priya. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Here is my report. Uh, all are qualified except TM Tanisha. 
she took uh, seven minutes, 32 seconds. TM, uh, um, TM Shruti took um, six minutes, 32 seconds. Um, if for evaluation segment, uh, DTM Ruchira took three, um, three minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, TM Jayati, three minutes, uh, 15 seconds. For table topic segment, Saida, uh, TM Saida took uh, one minute, 56 uh, minute. One, one minute, 56 seconds. Prit, uh, TM Priti, two minute, um, eight seconds. TM Anisha, uh, took one minute 55 uh, seconds. TM Shruti took uh, two minutes 19 seconds. TM Vandana uh, took one minute 18 seconds. Uh, TM Pranitha, uh, one minute 35 five seconds. Th 35 seconds. That's all from myself. Over to General Thank you, Toastmaster Priya. So can I have the counter and grammarian report uh, from Toastmaster Palpita, please? Thank you, General Evaluator. Well, uh, for the R counter, I will say like almost everybody was flawless. So I had very less to note down. TM Anisha Banerjee used three hours. TM Amrita one. TM Shruti one. And guest Pranitha, I think she is a guest. She has used multiple hours and hours. Otherwise, I noticed everybody was flawless. And as far as the grammar report concerned, I would love to share the screen. I hope, yeah, everybody can see. Honestly speaking, there was some good usage of grammars which I've taken. There were many rather, there were many, out of which I've taken notice some of the words, hypostyle, ancient. These are the phrases, running your episodes, all gaga over it, taking on the challenges of those minds and stop existing and start living. And not so good usage of grammars at also went unnoticed because everyone was so good. And two uh, Toastmasters, Toastmaster Sangeeta and Toastmaster Amrita used the word of the day. I am not sure if anybody else have also used it. If so, then please do let me know. That's all. And over to you, uh, General Evaluator. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Kulpita. So next we have a listening master. So I'm gonna hold uh, her report. I will ask her to present the report at the end while we vote and wait and because it is that is a very fun session so with this i would like to present my report and tell everyone how could I have done your roles better so first is sa so meeting has started a bit late uh, it was five minutes late but i everything like it is acceptable but uh, do try to uh, be it on time and she has explained all the rules and uh, all the necessary details since it is online meeting and all and also i provided a very good introduction for our president but the energy was a bit low i would have asked you like a bit more enthusiastic or euphoric because it is a start of our meeting so everyone needs to feel the energy and then we have our president uh, so and she did ask everyone to switch on their videos and uh, still many people have their videos switch off can please everyone come on the screen and then she has a guest and new member introduction which is really nice and she also has a very positive and latest news like like late uh, news story about the latest news of nika yeah, after seeing nika's ipo i think everyone should get into the ipo thing <laughs> pretty soon <laughs> I mean, it really more than doubled. Uh, next, we have the Toastmaster of the day. So Toastmaster of, of the day has a very uh, good topic, which uh, surprisingly is in line with our president positive uh, story today. <laughs> and uh, uh, also I liked uh, the most important thing I liked about the Toastmaster of the day is the visual aid you had. Because CSI yes, I haven't uh, seen that lady before. So now I know someone, uh, 
uh, who has done uh, something important. And also love your stories and everything. And uh, your introduction to all the role players was very nice, especially my introduction. So I give you plus two for that. <laughs> and uh, so one thing I would recommend you is uh, while introducing the speaker, there is a format which you can use. It's like Toastmaster's name and then the speech title. Then again, speech title and Toastmaster name. That way, the speaker knows that it is her turn to start speaking. This would have uh, avoided confusion with us without the speech uh, speaker one and speaker two. And also, you take try to take care of the time limit, but I see you are still exceeding. So I guess you have, uh, like we all have to work on that one. So next, I have our speech one and speech two. So speech for a speaker one, Toastmaster Anisha. So I really liked your presentation and I might contact you <laughs> pretty soon because I love traveling and uh, that seems like a really nice place. But uh, one thing is, is as Toastmaster Ruchira said that you could have added few of your personal pictures. Then it would have been great like how it looks in real life with real eyes. Like, photographers always take nice photos, but how uh, we see is a bit different and also uh, i see that you have exceeded your time limit so i will like maybe because of the confusion in the beginning it was because of that but i will still uh, ask you like to uh, have a look at it from your end too for evaluator one uh, you have uh, those must sorry dtm to chira you have stated the objectives and uh, explained uh, what is the requirement of the speech and your, your evaluation also uh, works to that CRC approach and you end it with a nice ending that uh, is hopeful and give the speaker enthusiasm to uh, uh, it's like it's ending in a high note uh, for recommendations I really don't have any <laughs> so I uh, so I will move forward with our speech too so our speech two is about mint by Toastmaster Shruti is about mentoring and yeah this is uh, this speech was really nice you have a few places where you there is audience engagement it was nice but uh, uh, some in like in the second time there was no reply from anyone's end so uh, if you're planning for audience engagement so i will ask like have a offline chat with people and make people ready <laughs> this is a nice trick it works and also uh, there was a bit of time confusion uh, so you might want to look into it for evaluator two you have also stated uh, it was master jayati you've also stated uh, the uh, intro like the in meaning of uh, requirement of the speech and you have also have the crc approach so your greeting was really nice with the quote and uh, like uh, greeting everyone and you have specific examples uh, about uh, what can be improved and what was good. So I really liked about it. So uh, so conclusion would have been a bit better or you could have taken a bit more time on that. So uh, conclusion plot, I will ask you to work on that one bit. Okay, what else I'm missing? So I have my tag role players report uh, quickly explain that they have explained like for both timer and accounter they have explained their role nicely and uh, flashes the card for toastmaster priya i will say that uh, uh, if you are the, the timer so you have to be very attentive like how was the speech and you have to like be present uh, to understand like what exactly you have to do so apart from that also one thing that uh, you you said like you always may uh, mention someone with tm instead of toastmaster so it will be better like if you say toastmaster and then their name instead of using the short form and for the accountant grammarian i really love that you have a report that where you can show but i will prefer that if you have included few things that were not so good and which can be improved uh, so as toastmasters we need to improve obviously uh, that's why we have the general evaluation section so I would recommend you to like at least get something uh, in there, in this, uh, like there also. And also you, you two users like TM instead of Toastmasters, I will ask you to please use the full form. 
सो नेक्स्ट आई हैव द टेबल टॉपिक मास्टर विच इज टोस मास्टर संगीता यू हैव एक्सप्लेन योर रोल एंड द टाइम लिमिट वेरी नाइसली आई रियली लाइक दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव आस्क द रोल प्लेयर्स टू एवरी स्पीकर टू यूज अवार्ड ऑफ द डे विच वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज स्टिल एन लाइक नॉट लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव यूज इट and the uh, the one thing is uh, missing is that your uh, topics are not in line with the theme so you, you know you will be table topic master so you could have contacted the toast master of the day and uh, get her uh, given like plan the table topics accordingly so it could have been better anyways your topics are good and uh, sort and everyone was able to speak on it but it would have been better if it is it was in line with the theme so going forward to the table topic speakers i have speaker one is toastmaster shahida she chose b as goa wow so i recently been to pondi and af pondicherry so after listening to goa so i, I was like thinking they should end up come back <laughs> so your whole speech was in line with the topic i really like it was really nice you put a nice picture about people the environment their food and everything like we can uh, visually see like paint a picture in our head too uh, so i the one thing missing is your conclusion like you could have like concluded with the quotes or something on a high note so that would have been done our speaker to is toastmaster preeti plants and pets so you talked about both plants and pets and i like if that you compare your children and husband as pets not many people do that <laughs> but obviously that uh, will avoid a lot of uh, quarrels in the whole household <laughs> this you just ignore them okay and um, as far as un- as i understood from the table topic master it it was about choose any one but you talked about both uh, so i got a bit confused maybe like the table topic master needs to explain a bit more like what you have to choose one or talk you can talk about on both so that thing uh, you could have asked or anyways your speech was uh, great so nice attempt next we have uh, toastmaster anisha anisha was there right talking and listening so you also uh, talk about both the topic your summary was there but it could have been a bit more like a considering all everything all the other part of your speech was really nice you started uh, with a bang but your summary was a bit like not compact it could have been a bit more compact so you can now work on that next was toastmaster shruti cooking or uh, eating out in a restaurant i really loved your celebrity chef uh, description because yeah they just uh, stand there and look good and do nothing in that type of cooking i like apart from that getting dressed up and clicking photos is more important than eating nowadays for me to not blaming anyone so you covered both the topic nicely i really liked your speech uh, next we have toastmaster vandana new and old movies so you started and you exactly took your pick like you like old movies and nicely explained why you like old movies so one recommendation is uh, you were like you ended a bit early you could have talked about more differences between old and new movies maybe the songs like nowadays song does not make any sense and old movies has so many words and like i i could learn hindi from old movies they have so many words in them so that's one recommendation and then uh, last speaker was toastmaster pranitha to go out or have memories uh, so one uh, so i really like that uh, your take on the topic that we first have to go out then we can only think about it yeah, it is logical so uh, but the one thing you did was to repeat the topic i will ask you not to do so so you could uh, just pick take your pick and start with it apart from that uh, i really like uh, you could have also ended it in a high note so given a conclusion conclusion like uh, live in the moment moment and then maybe you can reminisce them uh, so you could have uh, have a nice conclusion that's uh, all from my end 
So uh, the only thing I have left is the listening master report. So uh, before going to the listening master report, can I ask to launch the vote and uh, and uh, the participant can cast their vote and while we are uh, talking, Mr. Nasima is having a fun session as listening master. Yes, so, uh, so uh, what do you do? Toastmaster yeah. Momita, I've shared it as a Google form because we don't have our sergeant at arms today to create a poll. So it's in the Google form. Okay. So I will ask everyone to uh, just cast their vote and also Toastmaster Nasima to have the listening master report. Over to you, Toastmaster Nasima. Thank you, General Evaluator. And my question are as follows. Are you all ready? Am I, am I audible? Yes, yes. Hello? Yes, okay. First question. How many types of mentor did Toastmaster Shruti mention in her speech and who is her mentor? DTM yes. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> DTM Arnav. DTM Arnav, not four types of mentors. Hello. Okay. okay. She her men her mentor right if i'm not wrong hello her mentor is anish right her oh, mentor no, is dtm arnab so, okay so master anish master said she... something to her who brought her to those oh, masters okay. oh so i should be much more careful so <laughs> okay, uh, then today's general evaluator Toastmaster Momita is P. Claps. Toastmaster Momita is P. How many claps? Yes, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Three clubs simultaneously. Yeah, correct. Uh, not then, it's not simultaneously <laughs> actually. Okay, it's not simultaneously. I'm sorry. No, I've been peer of three clubs. I'm this assistant district peer and peer of win right now. But three clubs is too much work. Okay, Mamita, thanks That's for the clarification. <laughs> okay, then thank you. Question is Toastmaster Ruchira spoke about the makeup brand name Nika. Likewise, TMOD Amrita spoke about a what's that? Biba. 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 Yeah, right. Then fourth one is Toastmaster Anisha mentioned a place in Egypt where the protest was happened against Hosini Mubarak. Which place is that? Bear whose name starts with T, but I cannot pronounce the word. <laughs> uh, Anyone? Uh, Tahir, Tahir Square. Tahir Square. Yeah, right, Tahir right, Square. right. Shahida. Yeah, Tahir. yeah, you are absolutely correct. Yes. Then, one more question. Which Toastmaster took dual role today? Toastmaster Sangeet Tamura. And? Toastmaster yeah, Toastmaster. And Toastmaster yes. Yeah, many people took uh, dual role today. That is Toastmaster Ruchira, Toastmaster Kalpita, and Toastmaster Sangeeta. Then one final question. Since it's a ladies' club and the ladies are not only a good listener, but also a good observer. So who are the two ladies who cladded themselves? with Sari today. Toastmaster Naseema and Toastmaster Amrita. Amrita and Toastmaster Naseema. Correct. Very yeah, similar sarees right. also. Like at least they're looking similar colored. It's all illusion. Yeah, it's a floral print. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for this session and making it more, more vibrant. Thank you. And over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Nassimakar, for conducting such an interesting session.
So with this, I come to the end of my general evaluated report and I would like to hand, hand over back to our president, DTM Ruchira, over to you. Thank you so much, Madam General Evaluator. And if I may say, I think first time at WINS General Evaluator, Toastmaster Momita. Uh, it was a wonderful report. Thank you so much. Now, uh, before we move on to the voting, I'll quickly remind everyone to please uh, vote again. I'll just drop the form once more in the chat for those who got dropped off. And uh, let's take a quick feedback from our guests today evening. So we have with us guest Suja Rajesh. If you would like to please um, unmute yourself, let us know what your experience was like at the session at Windows masters uh, yeah hello everyone uh, it was really it was really interesting uh, hearing listening to everybody's speeches and i was really amazed by how all of you speak so well so fluently so effortlessly i mean the words just seem to flow out of you know, all of you, you know, so I mean, that was something that I really admired. And uh, it was really nice. It was a wonderful session, well conducted, and everybody spoke well. It was really nice. Thank you so much for the feedback, Toastmaster uh, guest Suja. Hopefully, very soon, Toastmaster Suja. And I think the same can be said about you already. You seem to be a very smooth speaker yourself. Oh if you could please uh, share your contact number in the chat, then uh, someone from our EC team will be in touch with you uh, if you want to know more about the club, the timings, etc. Sure thing. Yeah. Sure. And uh, we also have with us, uh, I saw we have a uh, guest, Preeti. If we can have your feedback as well. Hi, uh, Rochira. Um, uh, so this, I think we've been a part of one of an educational session together. Oh, right, right. Toastmaster Preeti, I remember. Yes. Yeah. So I, I found this out. This only girls club? Yes, this is a women's only club. Oh, wow. So I think uh, it, it's a very nice place to be in. I, I just saw all the girls around. I saw the Toastmaster of the day and uh, so enthusiastic. She's giving us such wonderful stories. In fact, in fact, all the role players, a very cordial kind of atmosphere in the club. I, I love being a part of the, this meeting uh, today. Looking forward to more meetings in the future, Ruchira. And Absolutely. your evaluation, I think as usual, uh, you're extremely good at evaluation. Kudos. <laughs> Thank you so much. It means a lot coming from a district champion like yourself. Thanks so much for joining our club today. And uh, we hope you keep joining us. We meet Sundays at 6.30 p.m. And I'm sure all the ladies would benefit a lot from your knowledge and experience here as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ruchira. Thank you. Um, I can see uh, we also have with us, do we have any more guests? Uh, I don't see any more guests. I do see all Toastmaster faces. So I'll quickly move on to our of voting results for today. So the best role player for category one goes to our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Amrita. Let's have a round of applause. Please unmute yourselves and give it over for our Toastmaster of the day. The best speaker today goes to Toastmaster Shruti. Round of applause for Toastmaster Shruti. The best evaluator goes to Toastmaster Jayati. A round of applause for Toastmaster Jayati. Best role player for category two Two goes to, it's a tie. It's a tie between Sergeant at Arms and the President today. So kudos to you, Toastmaster Sangeeta. Best table topic speaker goes to Toastmaster Shahida. Congratulations, Toastmaster Shahida. And the most improved speaker for today goes to Toastmaster Priya, our timer. Congratulations, Toastmaster Priya. With that, we come to the end of our session and I'll close the recording, but please feel free to stay back and chit chat as usual.